Down here, what I also did was I wrote a good strategy to prepare. So what's the strategy to prepare for something like this? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you're comfortable with Linux. So I gave you some links to what you could use to get comfortable with Linux. Then I wrote, you should be comfortable with these tools. And then for each tool, I gave you a video tutorial of how to use the tool. You should be very, very comfortable with all of these tools. These are your main, main tools. You should be very comfortable with them. You should be comfortable with exploit development. So that means you should be comfortable with basic assembly. Okay, watch that. You should be comfortable with the process of exploit development. You need to know your privilege escalation for both Linux and Windows. Okay, these aren't videos to watch, but they're articles you should read. And you should know these. This is the material that you need to be comfortable with in order to go for the OSCP. If you know this material and you follow the, and you address those issues, tack process, automation, if you do that, then passing this exam is actually fairly easy. It's really not that difficult of an exam. The exam is designed to challenge the weaknesses that a lot of people have. So the first weakness is people don't have a good process. They know some of the stuff, but they don't have a very thorough process. Second weakness is a lot of people are really uncomfortable with automation. A lot of people aren't comfortable with writing scripts and you really need to get past that. That's a step you have to address. Each of the next steps, people really aren't that good at report writing and doing documentation while they're working. A lot of people don't organize stuff well. Did you notice when I showed you my script, everything outputs into the correct folders. The reason that we do that is it makes it easier for me to do my documentation later. So having your scripts do their output into respective folders so that the content is easily organized for you is a big step. And then the last thing is just sleep, man. Sleep. You make more mistakes the more tired you get, right? You gotta know to sleep. And on a real pen test, uh, I've been pen testing now, this is year number 20. So I've been doing this a long time. However, the days are long. Pen tests for me, I very rarely had a pen test that's less than 12 hour days, very rarely, right? They're always really long days. It's always me beating my head trying to break into these servers sometimes not enough time to do the work. I'm more into technology now. So big data, machine learning, AI, that's kind of where my interest is. Pink Suite, Port Scan, Banner Grab, these steps I follow don't change, okay? So I think that's why new technologies interest me because I'm always trying to learn something new. Most of us hackers like learning. I'm kind of running into that with security.